How's it going everyone? This is Yixlarb and welcome back to my Sonic Adventure 2 HD series where we're continuing on with the bonus content. In the last episode we showed off, you know, the infinite ring glitch. I showed you how to remove animal parts uh, off of your chow, which actually doesn't sound very good. Uh, how to replace them with normal chow parts. That sounds a little better, I guess. And we showed off chow karate for the first time. And as you can see here on the stage select screen, uh, one of those uh, I guess four little squares on the bottom underneath Chow World, one of the nine squares I guess is a better way of saying it, has an emblem in it now, which of course reflects the emblem we received for completing beginner Chow Karate, uh, the beginner tournament in, in Chow Karate. So I just wanted to show you that here on the screen, Characters. otherwise we're just going to go ahead and dive into Chow World with my favorite character. Now here we are back at the Chow Stadium, and of course last time we went into Chow Karate. This time we're going to go to Chow Race, or Chow Racing, as you'll hear me refer to it as. So the Chow Race entrance is a, it's pretty grandiose, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a much kind of bigger deal than the Chow Dojo was, but as you can see here at the race entry, we have two races we can engage in, Beginner Race and Quit Race. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course, Beginner Race is the only option we have for right now. When you go into here, you're uh, uh, greeted by a similar uh, uh, chow select screen as we were for Chow Karate. Very simple. I mean, we can just pick between our two Chow here. It seems like uh, Telfy is much more balanced in terms of points. I mean, look at the yellow bars. Um, you know, the Soluna has just minuscule swim and fly, while Telfy really doesn't have anything very minuscule. I mean, Telfy has at least 134 points um, in each stat whereas you know Soluna has Soluna has three stats under a hundred so that's not the best but we're just gonna go ahead and select Soluna for now so I can show you the next screen kind of show you what's going on here so how beginner races work is you have four courses or stages or maps whatever you want to call them we're gonna call them courses most of the time I think and there are also three levels per course now, you can't say that you completed a course until you completed level 3 of each course. And as you'd imagine, each level gets progressively more difficult. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to dive into one of these random ones just to kind of show you how the feature works. And then I'm going to do levels 1 through 2 off screen. Because there's really no point in watching the easier ones, aside from you know this first one I'm going to show you, just so you can kind of get a sense of how Chow Racing works. <laughs> Then, once I've completed through level 2 of a particular course, I'll be able to show you level 3. That's going to be the one we record, that's going to be the most exciting one. And yeah, of course, they don't really tell you what levels you should be at in order to complete these. It's kind of like a trial and error type of thing. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and you know, we're going to dive into one. And uh, I'll probably use you know, one of the chow to test it out or something, see if it's possible before recording it. That way I don't waste your time, right? But for right now, uh, just to kind of tell you about these four, we have Crab Pool, Stump Valley, though here it looks like Stumo Valley, like the P is cut off, I don't know why that's that way, Mushroom Forest, and Block Canyon. Now each one of these kind of tests uh, a different skill. Crab Pool tests swimming, um, Stump Valley I believe tests flying, Mushroom Forest tests running, and Block Canyon tests power. Now for that reason, because our Chow excel in different areas, we're gonna kind of, uh, I guess, alternate between which Chow I use. Ultimately, off screen, I'm gonna make sure each one of these Chow completes all the karate and all the races. That's gonna be one of the goals uh, I have off screen. But on screen, I'll show you probably each one completing roughly half of the races. Okay, I've decided which one we're gonna show off first. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Soluna because she has the superior running prowess. I mean, look at this, <laughs> like just crazy running stat. So good, I mean, she has an A in running. And we're gonna go to Mushroom Forest. This is one of the most basic stages. It's gonna show you exactly how it works. Um, and now here, I'm, this is gonna be the only time I show you this. This is the intro little screen. You can see all eight Chow that are gonna be involved. As you can see, they're all children Chow, kind of working their way to becoming running Chow. And then Soluna, who looks absolutely epic. They all run to one of the eight slots. And um, then, you know, the door is open. I actually never watch this. I never do because as you saw, it took a while. Then we enter the actual race itself. The race begins as soon as this little opening scene ends. There's no way to skip this scene. So as you can tell, I don't like to wait for both of these scenes. I like to skip the first one and then work my way through this one. 
Now the Chao, just like in Chao Karate, controls itself. It runs, it punches, it flies, it swims, it does everything on its own. The only way you can be involved is by pressing the A button. In this case, what does the A button do? You press it, you use up some stamina in order to give yourself a boost. Now this will boost you in whatever you're doing. Here, because we're running, it's boosting our running. If you're swimming, it'll boost your swimming. If you're flying, it'll boost your flying, etc. And pretty much, it just you know, is a way to ensure that you're moving faster or whatever you're doing. Once your stamina runs out, your chow will move slower than normal, which is not good. Sorry, I just wanted you to hear that that theme. It's a it's a really cool, cutesy little theme. I love hearing it, and uh, yeah, it's obviously you're gonna hear it plenty more times. But I just wanted to give it to you once, uninterrupted. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, it's that simple. It it was fast. I mean, these beginner races are very short, as we saw. We completed it in 25 seconds with Soluna there, uh, and that was level two. And that's really the extent of the races. Now, as you saw there, I used up all my stamina by the end. That makes sense to do. Any leftover stamina won't help you. You might as well use it all up by the end of the race. The more you increase your stamina, the you know, more energy your chow will have to just randomly burn as you press the A button throughout the race. Um, all the other stats do exactly what you expect them to do. Swimming helps you swim f better, flying helps you fly better, running helps you run better, and power. Um, that one's not immediately obvious, but that one helps with things like climbing, knocking fruit off of trees, things like that. And we'll get into that more. But actually, I, I realize right now we should probably show you level two of uh, the beginner races just to kind of show you how it progresses. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip the screen and just dive into the opening scene. So as you can see here, we still got children Chow, but they're, they're progressing a little bit more to becoming running Chow. As you can see, they've got kind of uh, uh, quills, you know, kind of like Sonic has. That's a, that's a sign. I always like to use a little bit of stamina right off at the start because again, you can't control where your Chow go. If right here on this course, as you can see, they all kind of center towards the middle like this. And when that happens, it's possible to get pushed kind of behind one of the chow. And that just is so irritating. As you can see, we have the current record up there, which is 25.1 seconds. That's our record. So we're going to get that. We also have our placement, which is one out of eight. And we also have the map. As you can see, the map is much more complicated than just this course. There's a lot more to that map. And that kind of shows you just how many different combinations of courses, how many combinations of, um, okay, what's the word I'm looking for? Not combinations. It shows you how many possible layouts for races there could possibly be. And it's, it's really cool. The racing, more so than the karate, gets very, uh, it becomes very extensive and, and sort of complicated. So you'll see kind of how that works. Now, I just want to address a couple of other things. So I kind of told you guys how the base stats, the non-hidden stats, uh, or the unhidden stats, uh, affect your chow in the races. But there's also the hidden stats, which I said were important when it comes to the racing, and they are. So of course, we, the first hidden stat is intelligence. Now, some of, some of the races will have your chow solve puzzles, and intelligence affects how quickly your chow completes those puzzles. Uh, so you know, keep that in mind. We're not gonna deal with something like that for a little bit of time, but just know that that's part of it. Then you also have luck, which is probably pretty obvious. There will be some times in the races where luck affects, you know, something that happens to your chow. For example, as you saw just in that last race, one of the chow near the back fell over, tripped. Luck affects that. If you have a higher luck stat, you will your chow will fall over less, it will get trapped in traps less, and you'll see what I mean by that later on. And um, and all of that. So just know that the hidden stats are very important, but there's really, I mean, there's, I'm sure there's a technical way to determine, you know, how high those stats are and ways to raise them very specifically. I don't know them. I just kind of raise the chow to max stats. If you raise your chow to max stats, there's no reason why I couldn't complete pretty much every single race. Not just in the beginner races, I mean every race that comes forward after this. Hey there guys, quick note before I forget. Your chow stamina will slowly deplete over the course of a race. It's very slow, but you'll notice it. So make sure not to use so much stamina that you get to a point where it'll just deplete on its own because that's just as bad as overusing the stamina on your own. Just, just wanted to point that out, that it depletes on its own. 
as you can see I have made it through level two on each and every one of these stages which is great uh, I didn't take that much time at all I mean the longest one is crab pools you can see 56 seconds to get through that one the rest definitely take less than 30 apiece but now I want to kind of explain how we're gonna go through these stages as I mentioned before each one tests uh, primarily tests one area of strength you know swimming flying running and power and then obviously our chow they have their own strengths which is something I'm going to take into consideration but they're also going to have you know their ultimate focus so of course so Luna has you know an A in running versus you know Telfy who has a D in running so so Luna we're going to use for the running stage right but we're all we would also use so Luna anyway even if she had a lesser grade in running because she's a running type I, I'm just that's just one of the rules I kind of self-imposed I'll apply it wherever it makes sense where and then Telfy you know has a uh, an A in swimming and a B in flying and of course Telfy is ultimately going to be a fly swim type so of course it makes sense to use Telfy for those types of courses T uh, so Luna has a C in swimming which is obviously inferior uh, but a B in flying so they're actually tied in terms of flying stat uh, or I mean grade, not in terms of stat. I mean obviously Telfy blows Soluna out of the water. Twenty levels uh, higher, being twenty, you know, being twenty levels higher will do that. Will make you significantly better at flying. So yeah, but pretty much my point is, even though they're tied in that stat, I would use Telfy anyway because Telfy is a fly type. That's just one of the rules. Then in terms of power, uh, Soluna has a C, Telfy has a B. Um, but because Telfy is already doing the swimming and flying. It makes sense for Soluna to get running and power, just to kind of divide it up nicely. Plus, Soluna has a B in stamina, while Telfy has a D. Uh, so, that's just, I think that makes it a fair split overall. So, here's how we're going to go ahead and do it. We're going to go ahead and start off with Telfy, because Crab Pool comes first. Now, I will describe more things about the stages themselves once we dive in, but uh, I just wanted to mention that after beating each um, level 3 of each course, you unlock something. So, <laughs> they're, they're just a mess out there. So, just keep that in mind. Of course, you want to complete level 3 of all of these to get some cool stuff. And we'll describe what those are here soon. But for now, here we go. Telfy is going to rock it. Now, it, this should be obvious, but it's Im almost impossible for a course to test only one area of strength. I mean, Mushroom Forest or whatever it's called can only test running because that's all you're doing. But here, look, we're gonna be testing some running here, some flying here, and then swimming for most of the time. So just keep that in mind. It's like, you know, you could excel in one thing, but it might not matter if there's a lot of running said. You know, that's one thing. It's almost impossible not to test running in a stage. Uh, in fact, I don't know if there's a single stage that doesn't, te I mean, that tests no running. I, I think it's pretty much impossible. But as you can see here, you know, we got plenty of stamina to make it through this race. It's a long race, 56 seconds. It's the longest of all the beginner races because swimming is just slow. As you can see, there's one chow in the back who can't even actually swim yet. Uh, <laughs> you know, not properly, at least. But we're, we're making good headway here. You know, even though those chow are starting to turn into swimming chow, and we're a flying chow, our level is just too superior, and we've got so much stamina. Um, It doesn't really matter when you use your stamina, I found. I mean, just use it all up by the end and you're good I mean it pays to save it um, I like to save it personally for when uh, I screw up somehow uh, like my chow falls over I don't think it actually matters though <laughs> honestly I don't know but uh, just do whatever feels right to you That's another theme you'll hear quite often. I just wanted you to, you know, get an uninterrupted version of it right there. You know, hear it without me talking over you. But uh, in case you couldn't tell what that was, that's a shovel, kind of like a gardening shovel. So you're probably wondering what that shovel is for. Well, it's actually quite simple. Uh, whatever Chow wins the shovel, so in this case, you know, Telfy went through the, be the beginner race, beat level three of Crab Pool. Telfy now has access to the shovel and can pull it out while in the Chow Garden and use it. Now, what might he use it for? Well, to dig a hole so that you can plant a tree seed. Now, if up until this point you've bought a tree seed because you're like, oh, hey, my chow likes square fruit. I'm going to buy a square fruit uh, tree seed uh, so I can grow them and you'll get, you'll get some uh, good value out of my money. Well, you'll realize that there's nothing you can do with it. It'll just sit around in the chow garden. Nothing happens to it. You can't plant it. You'll like try to dig with knuckles. You'll do whatever. 
And then you realize, after you complete this race, like, oh, shovel, that's what it's for. So Telfy will have to be the one to plant the seed, which is pretty cool, pretty cool to see. Now, planting the seed is just the first step, and we'll discuss that more here soon. But now that we complete level three of Crab Pool, let's go on over to Stump Valley, which tests flying. Now, this is gonna be a good example of, even an even better example than Crab Pool, where it's like, look, you can't test just one thing. <laughs> Uh, can't test just flying. I suppose they could. They could create a course where you're just flying, but they haven't. So, it's that simple. Man, I just love the Chow racing. It's probably my favorite thing about Chow. Uh, I suspect it's a lot of people's favorite. Now here, look, see, we're, we're testing some running, as you can see. Uh, and then here is flying. I like to use the stamina during the flying because Telfy's just better at flying. But if you're insufficient at flying, you'll also, you're also tested in swimming down there, as you can see. Then, of course, we got more running here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, I, I shouldn't have been worried. One thing that's kind of annoying, as you can see, my ch Wow, is this going to happen a second time? Come on, come on. Let's go. Whew! As you saw, Telfy ran towards the, the pink slash red stripes there. It's possible for the chow at the very, like, last second to drift off to the other side, just for no reason. It's just, I don't know if it's luck-based or if it's just random, but it's annoying. So here, we've got an elephant, or it might even be a chow. I think it's an elephant, because it has like a trunk and stuff, uh, themed watering can. So once your chow plants uh, the tree seed, they can now water it with the watering can. That is pretty cool. It's great that they kind of leave that up to the chow, that they kind of, you know, let you figure out how to make the tree seeds work. It's like, dude, what, is, what does this do? How, how do I do it? It's, yeah, <laughs> it's just cool. Now it's time for Soluna to shine. Obviously Soluna excels at running. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that she's going to kill it here in Mushroom Forest. By the way, you remember how I mentioned before I was going to, you know, test the chow, see how they kind of you know, perform in the level three races before I record them. I decided against that. I decided instead to just record. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then I'll go back and level the chow up a little bit. Um, of course, if it becomes very obvious that we can't win the race from the start, then I just won't complete it. I'll just quit and come back. Here though, I have no worries. Cause so Luna's the best. We're gonna give us a couple of stamina boosts right here on the start. Look, see, so Luna's running way to the other side and that just wastes time. It's like, oh god, terrible luck. Can we recover? I highly doubt it, but let's try. Don't get trapped behind these guys, run around them. We could probably, oh god. Get out of the way! Oh, what? What? Oh, I'm so sorry if that blew your ears out, guys. Oh. It totally said one. Did you see that? Go back in the video. Go back in the video five or ten seconds and you'll see it said I was in first place. It said that. Oh, that's so irritating. I got so excited. What a roller coaster of emotions today, man. This is something. Well, as we saw, based on that you know, not great display, I mean, our luck stat is obviously not high enough to avoid tripping twice in a 25 second race. We have a chance. We have a really good chance. If we don't fall at all, we shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, falling twice there wasted like three seconds. Whew, that's tough. We got these wannabe Sonic Chow. I don't think they stand a chance. Let's use a couple of boosts right off the start again. Because as you saw there, it, if we didn't get trapped behind those Chow, behind that big group of Chow, we probably would just run past them naturally. But again, it's just bad luck. Here we go. Oh my god! Well, at least we know, if we, if we fall over just once... Oh wait, did we fall over once or twice? I actually can't remember. I think it was just once. See, there's like no way to get around this. You just have to kind of deal with it. Here we go. And... Yes! Oh, we got it that time. God, that's so aggravating. It's really something, but it's alright. It's alright! We're good! We're good! All right, now we've unlocked the baby rattle, which is not as special as the last two, honestly. I mean, you'll just see your chow occasionally playing with a rattle, just like, you know, a child would. Uh, it'll look very kind of similar to like, you know, maracas or, or, or something like that. Like almost like some, something they could learn in the classroom. Um, nothing crazy, but it is cool to, you know, get your chow all these, you know, extra toys and stuff so you can really see um, 
you know, just see them enjoying themselves, interact with them, you know, in a more, uh, I guess, diverse way in the garden. You can see them doing more things. It's more interesting. It's just that simple. Now, Block Canyon is the shortest of all the courses, and it's a power focus. And uh, as you guys know, we have, we have, what, level four power? We are not in a position to win this at all. But I think if we can use enough stamina here at the beginning, where we have kind of a running start, we can use our running prowess. And then because it's such a short course, we can just rely on our stamina boosts for pretty much the rest of it. So that's my strategy going in. Let's see if we can make it happen. And use two boosts right at the start. And now here we go. We're going to be climbing a wall. Start using the boost. Start using the boost. Oh, this guy, he's, he's coming up on us. Just use all the boost. Great, I even broke my record. <laughs> That was awesome. Okay, great. Wow, only level four power necessary? Oh, hey, what's... Wait, what? Oh, I just figured it out. I just figured it out. This is one of my favorite prizes, <laughs> is the toy car. You guys, if you know me at all, you know I'm a car enthusiast. Oh, and hey, look. We, since we completed all of the beginner races, we got an emblem for our troubles. That's our 173rd emblem. And wow, did we unlock a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have jewel races, challenge races, hero races, and dark races. It's like, wow. Just wow. But we'll talk more about those later. Let's quit the race uh, and come back out here. Um, as I was saying, yeah, um, we got our emblem. We got the toy car. I like having the toy car because I'm a car enthusiast. And now, <laughs> the thing you may have noticed. So Luna here is wearing a medal. That's the beginning, uh, that's the beginner race medal. Uh, I always thought you were, you got that from completing all four level three beginner races with one chow, but I guess not. In fact, let's test it. Now, as we saw, Telfy went ahead and won Crab Pool as well as Stump Valley. Now let's just take, hmm. Actually, Telfy should do, you know, even better than Soluna did in Block Canyon. So let's take him there. Uh, and just test it out. So Telfy won Crab Pool and Stump Valley, right? Yeah. So we know for a fact Telfy has never been to the Mushroom Forest. Probably couldn't even win the level three Mushroom Forest if he tried. So let's let's just do this. We should be able to win this with these. At least easier than so we're gonna do. Let's go! Jeez, why did that feel so close? Yeah, it was slower. That's, that's kind of strange. I guess the running start. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, I figured it out then. I have confirmed my suspicions. So, because we have completed level three of all four beginner races in totality, and look, now uh, Telfy has won the car for himself. That's great. Uh, all right, let me try to explain this. It, uh, I'm having a tough time coming up with the words. Okay, we've completed the all four level three courses in the beginner races. We've done that. You guys know that. Very obvious. Once all four are completed like that, we could get a new chow in right now. Like, let's say, let's say we could go get one of the no-name chows from one of the other gardens. We could rank them up and complete, say, level three of Block Canyon. They then would get a beginner race <clears throat> uh, medal like both of our chow do now like both of our chow have now and i don't know exactly why that is i guess it's because it's like oh hey you complete level three for all of them as long as one of the chow completes level three on any of them that's enough uh it's kind of a weird system i mean that's why you know so luna got the medal because she completed the fourth and final level three course after the other three courses had already been completed and then of course telfy got his medal even though he only completed three of the level three races, because all four level three races were completed when he went in to do his final level three race. So anyway, guys, there's your intro to <laughs> Chow Racing. As you can see, it gets quite extensive. There are four more race series, <laughs> aside from beginner races, and they get not only more difficult, but they also contain more content. So the beginner races had just four short courses. It gets way more complicated than that. There's also, uh, party race, which you can you know do in multiplayer. Uh, I get. I don't know if you can access that from this menu from the HD version. I think you have to specifically go to the two-player mode from the main menu for the main games menu to access it. But that's where you can play with, you know, I guess I think up to four people. I actually can't remember. 
Can you play with just two? No, just two. Wait, maybe four. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me this episode. This is a really fun one. Like I said, I love doing chow racing, and it's going to be taking up you know, a lot of our, t you know, in-video time going forward because there's just so many races to complete. Um, and I'm just so excited that I didn't have to go off screen and level these guys up anymore to get them done. There were definitely, you know, some close calls in there, a couple of losses due to falls. But overall, our Chow were both very competent. I'm very proud of them for <laughs> doing what they did. They both earned their medals outright. And uh, they're going to you know, earn their prizes, which consists of toys and some tools. And uh, that's good. It's good for them. Off screen, I'm going to go ahead and complete uh, the other beginner races uh, that they didn't complete. So, you know, I'm going to do, you know, uh, Crab Pool or I've already forgotten what it's called. I think it's Crab Pool. Uh, and you're pretty okay. I'm just gonna put it more simply. I'm gonna do the swimming and flying courses with uh, uh, Soluna, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the running course with Telfi, and then they will each have completed four of them. And I'm also gonna do karate with Telfi off screen as well, just to make sure they're both at the same place. And then I'll see you guys in the next next. Oh God, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we dive, you know, into more challenges and. Uh, more concepts, you know, just, it's hard to even plan exactly what's going to happen next, but just uh, stay tuned for a lot more chow racing and karate. See you guys then.